Welcome to this new and exciting tutorial series where we are going to build an AI-powered application with the use of N8N workflow automation tool, Fast API, and React.js. And in this particular part, we are going to cover how to install N8N locally on our computer and run it completely for free. And then we are going to also create a very simple workflow in order to have a start point of integrating it into Fast API and React. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we begin, let me show you how this application works and what it does. It basically takes some words from the user input and turns them into a poem. Both user message and the AI response are stored in the database. So the first thing that we are going to do is to set up N8N to run it locally on our computer completely for free. And this is going to be covered in this particular part. So if you don't know N8N, this is a workflow automation tool with AI capabilities, so to say. And if you would like to build workflows, use their solutions, you can do it, of course, directly on their platform at n8n.io. But you have to be aware that the pricing starts from 20 euros per month if you pay annually. However, there's a different option. You can run it completely for free locally on your computer and then if you would like to host it, you can do it with the use of Docker to any cloud provider. So we are going to obviously choose the second option. And in order to get started, we need to install Node.js. So I'm at nodejs.org and you can basically go ahead and download the long-term support version if you don't have Node.js on your computer yet. Next, we can go to npmjs.com and we can search for NADEN and we just need to copy this install command, go to the terminal, paste it, and let's install NADEN. Once the installation process is complete, I'm going to run NADN with sudo npx NADN. I'm going to grab this localhost link and paste it over here in the new window. So now we need to set up our owner account and I'm going to do it just now. So now uh, let's answer uh, some of the questions. So, um, what best describes your company? How did you hear about NADN? Let's say Google, and let's get started. And now over here, we will need to press this send me a free license key button. So, um, this is for getting the paid features for free. And as you can see, they are forever. So we will have the workflow history, advanced debugging, execution, search and tagging, folders and so on. So yeah, let's, um, let's press this button and we will have to check our mailbox. Okay, here is a confirmation that your license key is on the way. So once you got it, we need to head over to the settings, I think. And there we have this option to unlock selected paid features for free. 
So um, we've already did this. So now we need to enter activation key over here. I'm going to paste mine. And there we go. We have a confirmation that the license has been activated. And before we create our first workflow, what I would like to change is the theme. So again, I'm going to head over to settings and um, I think it's at personal. And here we have the theme. So let's change it to dark, save, and now my, hurt, my eyes don't hurt anymore. So we can go back and at the main menu, we can create our first workflow. In order to do this, we need to press the plus sign and select workflow. And here we go. So we can name this Poet Workflow. And uh, yeah, let's add the first step. Let me just close this very quickly, those two pop-ups. And let's add the first step, which is going to be the trigger. So what will trigger this workflow to run? And at least for now, I'm going to select the on chat message. So we can now press test chat. And as you can see, we have this chat window. So I can write hello. And as you can see, the workflow has been triggered and we have the send message as hello. Um, so right now, what we can do is to add a basic LLM chain. And I'm just going to add it first and then we will do some customization. The idea is to type some words over here, at least for now, at least for this stage. Uh, type some words into the chat window and pass them to this basic LLM chain. Here we will give the instructions for creating a poem out of the words that we are going to type. And then we are going to simply uh, display those words or do something else with them. Uh, later, of course, we are going to send them to our backend and the trigger is not going to be when chat message received, but it's going to be a different one related to um, HTTP requests or obtaining a um, HTTP request and this uh, trigger is called a webhook trigger. So we are going to utilize it probably in the next part. For now, let's focus on the basic LLM chain. We need to set some instructions as well as connect the brain. So first of all, I'm going to head over to the details of this LLM chain. And over here we have as a default user message, the the chat input. So in our case, it's hello. Um, if we would like to customize it a little bit, we can select define below and we can write, for example, ignore this and then drag and drop the chat input into here. But of course, this doesn't make any sense. Um, but I, I'm not planning to um, change anything with the chat input. The user message is going to stay as it is. However, I'm going to add a prompt and I'm going to select this system message. And over here, I'm going to press on this arrow to the top left. And here, I'm going to write something like... Um, you are a professional poet writer. Use the words from the user input in order to create some sh 
short and funny poems. Max three, four sentences long. So I'm not paying too much focus to the um, prompt, to the system prompt, as you can see. But let's see if this will do the trick or not. Uh, you are a professional poem, poem writer. Okay. So now we are done with the prompts and we need to focus on the output part. So as an input, we are taking the chat input, we are going to process it and we will have some output for further steps in the workflow. However, for this to happen, we need to add the brain. So let's press this plus sign under the model. And over here, I'm going to search for OpenAI chat model. So over here, I'm going to use the GPT-40 mini and we need to select the credentials. As you can see, I don't have any um, credentials since I'm using this computer for uh, YouTube videos. So uh, I'm going to create a new credential right now with you. So on the OpenAI platform, I just created my new API key and I'm going to paste it over here. And then I'm going to press save. All right. So as the next step, let's actually test this workflow so i'm going to write hello and world okay and this is our output hello world wide and bright full of wonders day and night let's skip dance and play oh boy life's a party let's enjoy so this is working and i think we can finish this video over here we will continue working on our project in the next one